We've had absolutely nothing to talk about for ages, so it's nice to get some official news. Manchester United have confirmed that a deal to keep Odin Agalo at United has been agreed with Shanghai Shenhua, his Chinese parent club. He's going to stay at United now until the 31st of January 2021. His original loan deal expired on the 31st of May, but United have now officially confirmed that a deal has been reached. Now, apparently, what was part of the delay was the fact that Shanghai wanted an obligation to buy inside that deal. But now, because of everything that's going on with coronavirus and their borders, they're not sure if he's going to be back in time for the start of their new season, they relaxed themselves and they allowed him to stay at United until January 2021, after which he's expected to go back and sign a deal that will keep him at that club until, I think, 2024, worth 400 grand a week, which is ridiculous. But look at Igalo's face. He tweeted this morning, and you knew that a deal had basically been agreed. A big smile on his face. And I know that Igalo is not the answer to all of United's problems. But right now, given how much uncertainty there is, in the transfer market coming up, and United need bodies up front, they need strikers, they need goal scorers. I'm absolutely delighted that we've agreed a deal to keep Igalo at the club until January. You know, even before he had kicked a ball at United, he had failed for so many people who just said he had absolutely no chance. And everybody was laughing at United for signing Igalo, despite the fact that Chelsea and Spurs both needed a striker and they had absolutely nothing. And Igalo's come in, scored four goals in his first eight appearances. Excellent attitude, excellent form, excellent goals as well. And that's earned him a longer stay at United, his boyhood club. He's a fan. He loves playing for United. And I love him playing for United because we've had so many players over the years come on that we expected to be brilliant, that were better on paper technically than Igalo, but just didn't work out. Ended up being mercenaries for the money. Igalo literally has, has pushed away a 400 grand a week deal with Shanghai to stay at United, to play for less money because he wants to play for United. And it's nice genuinely liking a United player again. This squad, there's plenty of more of them than there was maybe two years ago. And Igalo is only going to be a cult figure. He's not going to be someone who's going to turn into a Van Nistelrooy and become our solution up front. But at a time where there is so much uncertainty, as I said, the idea of keeping Igalo until January 2021 is fantastic news. I think anyway, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But it means for the foreseeable future, at least we've got Rashford, we've got Martial, we've got Igalo and we've got Greenwood as our options up front. Is that enough? to dethrone Liverpool and City as the two best teams in the Premier League? I don't think so. Would I prefer if we signed Timo Werner? Maybe, because on paper, I say maybe, definitely. On paper, Timo's a much better striker, but at a time where it's not even guaranteed that United or any team's going to make any signings anytime soon. Nobody knows what's going to happen. So just to have this certainty, this official news, a couple of weeks before football actually returns, Happy days. I think it's a good thing all round. Henrik Larsson, he was a cult figure at the club. I didn't expect him to do too much, but he didn't do too much. I just enjoyed watching him play for United and Gala will go into that category. He's not going to be anywhere near that upper echelon that we have of strikers at United because we have been blessed with Rooney's, with the Cantonars, Van Persie's, your Van Nistelrooy's, your Coles, your Yorks. But Igalo. I think once this is all done, we'll look back and say that was a very shrewd signing at a time where United desperately needed a new body up front, but Igalo's just delivered. He's living out his best life. And I couldn't be happier for him. And I think United have been smart here in agreeing a longer-term deal for him. I don't think it should take away from the overall long-term need of signing another top-class striker. But I think in the short term... It gives us what we need, it gives us certainty, and it allows us to maybe focus more energy on Jadon Sancho, which is a transfer that we all know could complete our attacking options. But Igalo, delighted for him. He's proven so many doubters wrong already. He deserved a longer stay at United, and, and for that goal against Alaska, way in front of an empty stadium, to not be his last kick 
in a United shirt and it's not going to be. The deal has been officially announced. Let me know what your reaction is to that. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Going to be doing more regular videos, hopefully going to go back to three videos a week, which is what I've always done before. And if there are any other talking points you want me to talk about in the next couple of weeks with Premier League football nearly back, let me know in the comments. But Igalo stays. He's happy. I'm happy. Are you happy? Let me know in the comments.